here's the closet when you first walk in. It's cute. I have to remember that I'm in a big city and like, you know, big cities have small spaces. Okay, here's the bathroom. She's also cute. And here is the shower. Looks glorious. Here's the shower. little relaxing vibe there's a cute mirror here he upgraded my room which was nice of him and I feel like now I have more of a view I don't know which room I was floor I was on before but he upgraded me to the top floor um, it is a king size bed and the bed is super low but I just can't wait to get in it I don't even care and then here's the TV I got a nice situation. So I basically came straight from work to the airport, then, yeah, to the airport and then here to New York. So I am so tired actually. Um, I'm about to get in the shower and then I'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> This view, <laughs> y'all, this view is so beautiful. I'm really like just in this city. People are out already, it's like eight o'clock. Folks are walking. I have some work to do, so I'm gonna do some work until it's time to go to breakfast or brunch. Me and my friend are gonna go to brunch, so we're just gonna do some work until then. I can't believe I'm here. So I slept, this mirror is kind of weird, but anyway, I slept pretty good last night. I slept in because usually I like wake up around like 6, 6.30 every day, but I let myself sleep until 8 today. Um, but I also am very cognizant that I have a deadline for a self-inflicted deadline to try to get things back to my committee today because we're almost done, you guys. I just can't believe it. So I'm going to just like take advantage of this quiet morning i think i'm gonna journal some and then get to writing i bought this journal from target for like 350 and i'm just like i have to document like how i'm feeling right now everything that's going on um so yeah <laughs> She's looking, she just has some soaps, which I think I'm gonna go smell too. But that's one thing I love about like a city is like vendors, small businesses, and supporting them. But it's been such a good day, it feels so good out here today. This is so beautiful. Nature, greenery. garden they also have the rose garden it, it is just so huge 
and I also have like just facts about roses and the people who cultivated them and like what they named them after. Super, super cool. <laughs> could have used like a garden map but I, I feel like for what it's worth I've explored a lot I've seen a lot even though I don't know exactly which each area is but in hindsight I think I should have just got a map <laughs> today has been like such a great day if anything it's just reaffirmed to me that like solo travel is lit solo travel and meeting friends is lit so if you ever like on the fence like are you scared like oh I don't know if I want to go somewhere by myself like do it just do it I feel like you'll be so amazed and like so proud of yourself of, like how you're able to navigate and explore things and also just enjoy your own company and it's one thing that I've learned on this trip is that like I really dig my company I love being with myself and I also love like just reconnecting and hanging out with friends and it's just like show me like important values in my life so today has been a beautiful day the beginning of the day most of the day well the whole day I essentially spent in Brooklyn with my friend Fatima I'm gonna reconnect with her again in the morning but it was good just to hang out with her and just like reconnect and then I went to like all the museums there I went to the Brooklyn Museum, the Brooklyn Library, and the Brooklyn Botanical Garden. I highly recommend all of them. I had such a good time. And I feel like, I don't know about you, but I feel like museums and like botanical gardens, like you can never have enough time. This is like, there's never enough time to just like really enjoy it all. And maybe it's designed that way for a reason, so you can keep on coming back, which I'm not mad at it. Um, in the Brooklyn Museum, they also have this like for Saturday, so my friend Fatima was telling me about it and I was able to just catch a little bit of it, but it's like the whole night, essentially they have like live music, but then they have like a situation, like a party. I didn't want to be out there too late by myself, especially because it's my first time getting on the subway by myself. <laughs> and I was a little anxious, I'm not gonna lie, I was super nervous, but I'm super proud because, yeah, I made it back in one piece and I didn't get lost. And I'm super proud of that because I've always been like terrified, like absolutely mortified of getting on a subway by myself i feel like just hearing so many stories you know you just feel like you kind of just talk yourself into being scared when you don't really have to be and i found like for the most part like with any city mostly people like mind their business and leave you alone and of course you have those incidents like where people are a little they need help but mostly like you're gonna be fine so that's something i learned today for sure i'm super hungry but like my feet are also hurting i feel like i've just been walking all day because i have but I want to go get some cookies from the Levain Bakery and I also want sushi. Neither of those places are super close to me and I could go to a sushi place closer to me but I just have one on my mind and it's close to the bakery so I think I'm going to do that and then just head back here. I feel like having a night in. I was thinking about going to a rooftop by myself and like maybe I will. There's actually a rooftop here at the hotel so maybe I'll just change into something and go to it here just by myself catch a little vibe you know I don't know but I know for sure right now like the goal is food so I think I'm just gonna chill for a little bit and then go get some food and a nice little treat <laughs>
sides from the bakery. Let's try this chocolate chip cookie. It's no longer warm anymore because I'm so far removed from the bakery itself. I'm gonna have this and then, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. I'm gonna have a bite and then eat like um, the wings and stuff. But let's see, what's it hitting on? What's it hitting on? Mm. Okay. You know, know some chocolate chip cookies aren't chocolatey enough. This is the perfect amount of chocolate chips. Perfect. I like the crunch, but it confuses you because the crunch is on the outside, but inside is really soft. And ooh, this chocolate is kind of still melting. I think what I learned about myself is that I really like I like thinner cookies. This is good. It would be like even better if it was a little bit more thin. This is a five out of cookie, so it is a big cookie, but I think I like thin cookies. But this is still good. I think it's worth that, personally for me. And I'm a big chocolate chip cookie critic, you know? I definitely couldn't finish this all in one sitting, but I'm glad I got this recommend okay that sushi was so good but the thing about sushi is like you'll feel full for like 10 minutes and then you're hungry again so i got some fries and i got these wings from this restaurant um next door it was like this restaurant in game spot we are in soho early in the morning, so it doesn't like that a lot of people. They have a sale. You wish what? It's their Barbie collection. I like this. I feel like my torso and legs don't love jumpsuits. <laughs> in a long time. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. way to spend the time today so I'm so glad that we did that and we're about to go to Los Tacos um, I heard the tacos are really good there so we're gonna check it out see what the hype's about the Los Tacos line was too long so we ended up going to this Jamaican spot called Ting's and we got some patties and they were really good and then we went to a bookstore because I just like going to New York and not going to a bookstore come on like I feel like I had to go to a bookstore and I got I think I got two or three I got two books and then um, I was off to go back home this was a very short trip just over the weekend but I had so much fun and I just found myself just taking it all in and reflecting the whole way so at the end I ended up just people watching and writing in my journal <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Catch you in my next video.